I'm Mitch from Beyond the Woods, and today I'm going to try and make Fractal Audio's Quantum Firmware 3.02 sound like a Dark Glass B7K Ultra. Let's get into it. All right, so looking at what I have going on in Reaper right now, that top track is the room mic that I'm using to record my voice. I'm going to be muting that uh, whenever the bass is playing, just so all you're hearing is the direct sound. Uh, the second track in black is the B7K Ultra, which is running XLR direct into my interface. And the third track is the AX8 in green, also running XLR direct. So to see whichever one I'm using, you can either watch my feet right here. The A channel is the dark glass and the B channel is the fractal, or you can watch the meters moving up by the corresponding tracks. So there's the B7K and there is the fractal. So I'm gonna start with a very neutral tone. Um, everything is set flat, the attack and grunt boosts are set um, neutral, the drive is at noon, the blend is completely cranked so all you're hearing is the drive signal, but of course what you can do in both this one with the blend knob or you can use uh, the blend knob inside the drive block in the fractal to blend in, uh, or the mix knob, excuse me, in the uh, in the fractal to mix in dry signal if that's something you're interested in. So I'm gonna go back and forth starting with the dark glass and then go over to the tone that I dialed in on the fractal. <laughs> Alright, so taking a look at what I did inside the AX8 to get that sound, I'm using the BB Pre, which is based off the exotic BB Preamp um, distortion pedal, and the drive is running pretty low, and I'm using soft clipping here because I found that was the closest I could get to this sort of uh, gain characteristic. A lot of the drive pedals, especially without cabinet blocks, get really harsh sounding, uh, but the Dark Glass in particular is a very smooth sounding. Uh, distortion pedal, so I tried to smooth that out. And then from then on, it was just a lot of extreme EQing going on. I had a big mid scoop coming out of the drive pedal, but then I kept that going with the parametric EQ block, which was a lot of getting rid of a lot of low mids and then boosting some high mids there. Um, so there are my settings for that if you are interested in getting this exact tone. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it for that. <laughs> All right, now I've dialed in something that's a bit more tasteful. Um, the B7K, I scooped out some of the mids just because this is a very mid-rangey bass, uh, boosted some bass, uh, turned on the grunt boost, turned up the drive, and the blend is more around the middle. It's really strange, actually. When I set the blend to about 70% on the dark glass, it feels about the same as it is when it's 50% on the fractal. I don't exactly know what's up with that or the reasoning behind it, but um, I just dialed it in to where it sounded similar. So it's it's the same setup on the fractal, it's just slightly different settings to suit this new EQ shape. So let's go ahead and compare. I'm going to reiterate a lot of the same points that I made in my last imitation game video, which was between the B7K Ultra and the Avid 11 rack. However, that was a little bit different, because the Avid 11 rack runs used for about $300 to $400, which is about the same amount that a B7K does. The Fractal stuff is quite a bit more expensive. It's not like you're going to be shopping around for a B7K and accidentally walk out with an Axe FX or an AX8. They're two totally different products. And that's the main thing. It's two entirely different design philosophies. The B7K is what you see is what you get. The Fractal is more dig in and find your tone. The point of this video is to show you if you're a Fractal user, if you really need to buy a separate dark glass pedal. And for me personally, I don't think you do. If you already have an AX8, you already have that sound that's built in. You can dial it in and get the same sort of breakup characteristics. You even have the same sort of EQing and blending options. It was different with the 11 rack because you weren't allowed to bl blend in dry signal, but with this, you can do that exact same thing. In conclusion, obviously these two products aren't direct competitors with each other. They are two totally different 
beasts. However, if you only need a couple tones, the B7K Ultra is probably the way to go, if that delivers the sound that you're looking for. But if you're already going to be using a fractal unit for whatever reason, if you want, you know, an extraordinary amount of sounds, tons of MIDI capability, whatever, if you have a complicated bass rig that is going to warrant a fractal unit, you can get very, very close to that dark glass tone using blocks that are built in. Of course, it would be a lot easier if they would just throw in a dark glass model. That about does it for this. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave me a like or a comment down below, and I'll see you next time.